in this video i will talk about the phenomena current hogging so what is current hogging current hogging is a condition in which largest amount of current flows through one of the many parallel logic circuits because that circuit will provide low resistance path for the current flow than other logic circuits let's say i have a dctl nor gate here and this dctl nor gate is driving two other similar dctl nand gates nand gates and this will be also a nand gate you will see that the collector terminal of the transistor q1 and q2 are coupled at this terminal and this is our output terminal this output terminal is connected at the base terminal of the transistor q3 and at the base terminal of the transistor q4 now the current hogging in this circuit will never occur if the transistor q3 and q4 have similar input characteristics input characteristics that means the ib vbe characteristics of the transistors but this is not possible because the logic gates are manufactured in different temperatures and uh, the similar transistor or the transistor from similar logic family don't have similar doping profile let's say if i say this transistor q3 as bc547 and this is a also bc547 transistor it is not possible for the transistors q3 and q4 to have similar base to emitter junction potential or similar doping profile therefore there is always a difference in the doping level of the transistor q3 and q4 that means as we don't get the similar input characteristics of the transistor q3 and q4 therefore current hogging will occur in this circuit now as the nor gate is driving the this nand gate and this nand gate therefore this nand gate and this nand gate will be known as our load gate and this nor gate will be known as our driving gate now we'll consider the case when the output is at high state therefore i will get a output current il in case of this nor gate now let's say our a is at logic 0 and b is at logic 0 therefore our output will be at logic 1 therefore i will get a output voltage equal to vcc between this terminal to ground terminal so i will get a load current at the output terminal of the of this nor gate now as the transistor q3 and q4 has a difference in base to emitter junction voltage let's say this transistor has a base to emitter junction voltage of 0.69 volt and the transistor has a base to emitter junction voltage of 0.70 volt now to switch on the transistor q3 and q4 the transistor with small base to emitter junction voltage will switch on first therefore when this output will be at logic 1 or i will get the vcc volt between this terminal to our ground terminal therefore our transistor q3 will go into on state first other than this transistor q4 due to its small base to emitter junction voltage okay so when the transistor q3 will go into on state its collector and emitter terminal will act like a closed switch that means i can short the collector and emitter terminal as i have connected the collector and emitter terminal this circuit will provide low resistance path for the current flow that means this q3 will draw the maximum amount of il largest fraction of il at the base terminal of the transistor q3 therefore the transistor q4 will not get enough base current at its base terminal to go into on state this is how as the transistor q3 is drawing the largest portion of the transistor q4 it will prevent all the other transistor that are connected at this terminal to go into on state and this phenomena is known as current hogging in a circuit okay that's it thank you